guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So over the past weekend, there was this major event in DC. So I took a trip out to Washington DC and I went to Awesome Con. Let's go ahead and recap what happened. So I actually went out to Washington DC. This is a three day convention. Now I went out on Saturday, so one of their busier days. And this is said to have over like 70,000 people make a trip out to this place across the three different days. And I'm not even sure what the numbers were, but I'm telling you, this convention is so massive. This is at the convention center in Washington DC. It is just so huge. There's so many different levels and there's so much going on, but it's really a great time, especially if you love video games, pop culture, comic books, voice actors, regular actors, just so many different styles of like this nerd culture. So we'll just go ahead and check out some of the cool things that I got and I'll talk about some of my amazing experiences. So if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out as I have a Super Nintendo pickups video coming soon from this actual convention. So I actually met some really cool people at this place called Echo Base. And this is a really cool store that has toys, video games, pop culture, comics, and so much more. They are located in Virginia and they actually invited me out to this really cool convention. Now I had never been to any conventions this size before. So when I walked in and I saw like the whole overview, like by the escalators, I just like went insane. This place is so crazy. They have tons of vendors. They have a whole artist alley. They have a whole celebrity row where there was like Elijah Wood for The Hobbit. Like it's so crazy to see all of this crazy stuff. They had so much like Lord of the Rings stuff, just so many different facets of pop culture and just some really cool things like Danny Trejo. Like I just, I could not believe seeing all these people lined up, just tons of people waiting in line to get the autographs, to get the pictures taken with these awesome celebrities, tons of voice actors for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just so many crazy things there. So on the whole opposite side, there were some really cool video game stores and different toy store vendors. So I just kind of wandered around looking at the different comic books, the different toys. They had Funko Pops t-shirts. They had artwork. They had the really cool store that invited me out. So Echo Base, they do have a couple locations in Virginia. So if you're ever in that area, you should definitely check them out because they have some really cool items and I scored tons of video game stuff out there last time when I went to their store. And then I ran into my buddies over at Cartridges Galore and I picked up tons of Super Nintendo games. So I really can't wait to share those pickups with you guys, but we'll just go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, they had a Nintendo vendor there. So they had this really cool like Nintendo merchandiser person that had some really awesome items. So I picked up this really cool Nintendo Switch bag this is definitely pretty sweet because it stored all of this awesome stuff. Not only did I pick up these like little, you know, post-its that are Nintendo branded. I got these really cool character card sets. Jump into the world of Nintendo Switch. So you have the different characters. Even these really cool character patches like Peach. And then we even have Bowser. There was another one of Mario. These are just really cool items that I'm pretty excited to add into the collection. Cool little activity guide. This every day is a Mario Day activity book. They had some really cool Pokemon stuff like this cool little collectible card from Pokemon Day. So this was from 2023. You have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This character eraser set. Even this right here. This is like a cool little, I guess like envelopes and little notes so that you could go ahead and send these out with some stickers, even some gift wrap. So this is all like the weird promotional stuff that you just never see for sale. And all of this stuff was free. So I got some holiday wrapping paper. 
So this is really cool that they were just giving these things away. There were so many booths there just trying to, you know, give things back, give things away. You even had like the FBI there, you had NASA, you had the military, you had all these different places and different things set up so that you could interact, see VR, see what it's like at those facilities. And they just had so much cool stuff, so many like wild things, even a cool little stage area, tons of like video game competitions going on. It was just wild. And then on to all of the Simpsons stuff. I actually scored this at a really cool booth that had nothing but like toys. Now they did have a couple video games, but I was more interested in all of the Simpsons stuff. So here we have Bart Simpson, and these are all like these vintage style like little dolls. This is from 1990. And then we even have all of these characters. We have Marge Simpson with this little cat. We even have Homer Simpson. So just these really cool little like toys that you could have gotten in different meals. We have Krusty. <laughs> so I just absolutely love all of these like little characters. Another one of Marge, another Homer. We even have Bart Simpson. And it looks like a lot of these were like part of a set. And then we have Homer Simpson getting ready to throw a football. And these are like a variety all from like 1990 and then we have Bart on a skateboard so these are some really neat toys that you could have gotten back in the day so these will go great on my little Simpson shelf and then another thing that I love about these video game conventions and like toy conventions these pop culture conventions is that you get to meet some really cool people some of the people who actually make the comic books who make the artwork who are the voice actors who make these like storyboards and different things and you could just wander around and see all of these like creative people that you know are behind the scenes that you may know about or you may not know about. So while I was there, I actually scored a really cool print and I had him sign it. So this right here is by Keith Tucker. So these are these cool little like storyboards. And of course these are for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He even put Cowabunga on here to me and then he signed his name but i just love this style on here it even says a little bit of information versatile prolific enthusiastic just a few adjectives used to describe keith this is an artist whose cutting edge art has captured international attention from paul mccartney to mickey rooney keith's artwork has been commissioned by many drawn to his dynamic style so right here it says a veteran animation storyboard artist for Warner Brothers, Disney, Marvel, Spielberg, Universal, Paramount, to name only a few of his clients and the characters like Pinky and the Brain, Conan, Spider-Man, Robocop, Star Trek, G.I. Joe, Street Fighter, He-Man, Adam's Family, Exosquad, X-Men, and more. So this is just really awesome to score at this really cool convention. And that's just not all everywhere that you went throughout this place there were so many different artists so many different people making different art prints drawing things pins t-shirt designs just so much it was so awesome and there was a really cool room upstairs that had tons of arcade machines they had some tabletop board gaming areas where you could sit down play some board games play some cards you could actually like battle it out with different cards and also with the arcades, there was a little spot where you could sit down and test out some different games, play some different games, and it was really a blast. Now they also have tons of food located near there. Most of the time you go to these smaller conventions, they only have like one little food stand. This one had multiple, so they were all across the different floors, and there was like a food court area that you could go to and pick up some different food. Now of course the prices are a little bit higher when it comes to you know, DC and even parking that you have to try and find. But this was really a great time. And if you get there early enough, you could get the specialty event parking. So you just pay a flat rate and you don't have to pay much more than that. So I just had such a great time and make sure you guys stay tuned because I will have a Super Nintendo pickups video as I scored tons of Super Nintendo items from cartridges galore. So let me know in the comments below what items you like? Did you see anything throughout all of this, you know, convention footage? Let me know if you like all of the Simpsons stuff, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle artwork, 
just let me know and of course thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more